What's up guys? Welcome back for another live today in the UU tier. Yes, that's right. You guys are getting two lives in a week. I know, right? It feels like forever since I've done this uh, and it feels really good to be recording uh, sort of consistently again. I'm hoping to get back into it full swing of things. I'm um, getting really back into Pokemon, especially with this UU tier. It's really uh, enticing me and um, seeing as I'm working graveyard shift like this is just horrendous, dude. I'm recording this at 7 a.m. Uh, right after my shift from work. <laughs> And I have to leave my house in like 40 minutes uh, to go get uh, my license plate re-registered on my car and stuff like and it's then I have to come back home and sleep and then when I wake up I have to record power rankings with jar for the GBA uh, edit the video upload it uh, well send it to the senior analyst to get uploaded it's just it's it's chaotic man I cannot stand this schedule and I can't wait for it to be over I'm leaving my second week out of four my schedule changes every four weeks but uh, anyway Enough about my life. Um, today we have a team left to us by none other than Sceptile MC, George himself. He left this team in the, and a few other teams that I will be trying as well, uh, that I've already tried and I want to use on a recording. Uh, he left them in the NPL chat, so I'm going to be using uh, this team. Big shout outs to George. Uh, guys, make sure to go check him out in the uh, description down below. I haven't gotten an okay from him yet to uh, set, like give out the team. I guess you guys will pretty much be able to know it. While watching the video, you'll as I scroll over the sets, you'll be able to pretty much copy them. But uh, anyway, I'll, I won't leave a paste bin necessarily to the team because I don't have permission to. Uh, with with things from the forums though, like they're on the forums anyway. I don't really care. Uh, but with this team, these teams uh, that other people leave, uh, I don't really feel good about that. But anyway, we've got uh, Choice Bandit Infernape is ridiculous, guys. Let me just say that. And Mega Sharpedo is a huge threat in this tier. Uh, this Mew is really cool too. It's a standard Mew, but it does a lot of work right now. So, uh, let's hop into a game. Let's hope we can get one relatively fast. Let's see how many, uh, okay, well, never mind. We got Sun. Okay, so this is gonna be tough. Um, <laughs> very tough, actually, especially for Sharpedo. Um, he doesn't have any, it's seemingly any Ice-type coverage on this team. So, Gliscor might be able to do a lot of work. Uh, what I'm gonna wanna do is lead off with Hydreigon right off the bat as he leads off with Torkoal. So, this is really nice. Uh, so what I can do is just immediately drop a Draco on his head and uh, see how much that does. It does 84%, which is really nice. He goes for Stealth Rocks. We can't get rid of those because we do not have Defog uh, on this team, unfortunately. But uh, that is fine. We don't really need Defog on this team. Uh, I can just go for another Draco Meteor right here and uh, weaken his Executor, which is really nice. And I get a crit, actually, so I knock it straight out. <laughs> That's really unfortunate for my opponent, but... Uh, things happen, and you don't switch in your executor on a Hydreigon, just saying. Anyway, um, Venusaur comes in. This is a little bit of a threat, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's definitely a threat. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. Um, except maybe go Mew, but if it's Life Orb, it's still gonna do so much damage. I really need to keep my Hydreigon in such a huge form of offense against this team. Uh, it does really, really well. And, uh, does this Venusaur outspeed me if it is... Modest. Let's find out. I think Modest hits 259, if I'm not mistaken. So times two would be 518. So yes, it does outspeed me, even if it's Modest. Um, I don't really need Mew for anything necessarily. So I am just gonna go into Mew. Uh, I need to weaken this thing somehow. He's gonna go for a Growth. Okay, so that was that's that's scary as hell. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Psy Shock, hoping that I can live a Life Orb Sludge Bomb from Venusaur. I think I can. Maybe not Solar Beam. Definitely not Solar Beam. <laughs> so there goes that. Um, what do I do now? I guess I can go back into Hydra. And just... Or I can stall out his Sun a little bit with Sharpedo. Go for Protect. That's not going to get me very far. I'd rather bring in Sharpedo while his Sun's not up to get as many speed boosts as humanly possible. Uh, and then I can sweep straight through his team with my coverage. Except for the uh, the Shift Tree. That's the only thing in the way. I think Hydreigon takes any hit, right? Uh, let's actually calc it up. I'm gonna bring my calc over here so you guys don't have to see this. Venusaur. Um, sun, sun, sun. Uh, offensive. 252. Modest. Item. Life Orb. Versus Hydreigon. Hydreigon Choice Scarf. Um, wow, that's without a boost. Holy crap. Yeah, this thing is running straight through me. Um, Gliscor will probably die as well. Let me, uh, okay, I, I think I have to go into Sharpedos to stall out some of this sun. I don't have a choice. Uh, let's go for the Protect. 
as he is going to go for a Sludge Bomb on that turn. Uh, I'm going to switch in my Gliscor right here, I think. or my I'm going to switch in my Hydreigon because I think his more likely play is to go for a Solar Beam here. I could be mistaken, though. Uh, I think Gliscor is a better plan. Let's go into Gliscor. Let's see if he goes for another Sludge Bomb. No, he goes for a Solar Beam. Okay, so good play on his part. I could have switched in High Dragon, but it's fine. Uh, I am going to go Sharpedo again. I am going to Protect once again. And uh, I think my only chance at winning this game is if I get the Double Protect. So I think we should go for that. He's going to go for another Solar Beam. That's fine. I uh, just wanted to stall out the Sun. And do I switch here? Uh, how good is Infernape this game? I guess it gets off a Mach Punch on these two. This is probably in range of a Banded Mach Punch as well. Venusaur. Venusaur is not so much of a threat outside of the sun, though. That's the thing. It's really not that big a deal. As soon as I get rid of the sun, it's over. Because my Raikou can start setting up Calm Mines. Uh, he still has the Shift Tree, though. I think... I think Raikou is the Sack. Yeah, Raikou is going to be the Sack. Alright, we'll get rid of it here as he is going to go for the Sludge Bomb, and that is going to knock us out. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to go back into Sharpedo, and uh, I'm going to Protect again, because he doesn't have a good switch into Sharpedo, except maybe Nine Tails and Shift Tree. Like, those two kind of can switch in. And it comes Nine Tails, that's fine. I'm going to Protect, and uh, I do. it does fail, so I am actually going to Protect again, because that, again, stalls out Sun. So let's do that. And then if he wants to switch, that's fine. He is just going to go for the Solar Beam. That is okay with me. I'm now going to switch back out into my Hydreigon. Because this thing cannot touch Hydreigon outside of HP Ice. And uh, Venusaur shouldn't be able to knock out Hydra from full. So here comes the Solar Beam. We should be able to eat that up. Does almost nothing. And I will just go straight for the Dark Pulse here. Because it will do a decent amount of damage. And I don't think Draco Meteor Oko's Nine Tails anyway. So he's going to sack off his Torkoal. And what's he going to go into here? Sawsbuck? I expect Sawsbuck to come in with like a return. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I can see coming in here. Yeah, okay. So, seeing as we weren't able to damage Ninetales, that's going to be an issue. Uh, Alright, let's just go for another Dark Pulse. He is going to double edge and knock us out. Um, I'm going to go into Infernape here. He is faster than me at the moment. Uh, but, 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 do I go for U-turn here? I think Sawsbuck's double edge takes out Infernape. For sure it takes out Infernape. No issues. Yeah, let's just go for Mach Punch. He's actually going to go directly into his Venusaur. Wow. Okay, that was ballsy. I'm going to Mach Punch again. Uh, just because I don't believe he knocks me out with Sludge Bomb, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. And he does not, which means that something dies here. Because this is a banded mock punch. So I think we might still be able to pull this out. With Sharpedo. It depends on the shift tree and if it can live... It can definitely live an attack. But if I crit him... That might be a different story. I hope he goes directly into shift tree after Venusaur. That would be hilarious. <laughs> he already put me in range of rocks. That was really good. Yeah, I, sh I probably shouldn't be playing at this hour. <laughs> um... But, if this Venusaur goes down, we're looking good. Alright, so, Venusaur goes down. He's probably just going to get back up his sun. Is what I would think. As he is going to go into Ninetales. And I am just going to Mach Punch. He's probably just going to Solar Beam. I don't think even a crit Mach Punch knocks out Ninetales from here. So, that's no. Um, and I don't know if Sharpedo is actually faster than Sawsbuck. Even at plus two. He's going to switch into his Sawsbuck for no reason. I don't understand that play. Were you just trying to get a free sw switch into Shift Tree? Is it Sucker Punch? Yeah, it is Sucker Punch. Okay. Takes a Life Orb hit. I don't know if that's going to end up mattering or not. Uh, I am just going to go for the Double Protect right here. Go for the first one. And then... Um, actually, this thing is not very fast. If I predict him to be adamant, let's say. Shift tree. Um, offensive, well, swords dance. If he's adamant, he hits 259. Let me see something here. So 259 times 2. And then this thing hits 339, right? No, I'm adamant as well. 
So I need the double protect. We do not get it, unfortunately, and that is going to be GG to my opponent. He played that very well. He even got his executor uh, crit, and he still won. So let's move on to the next game. Probably should have kept uh, Draco meteoring even on the Venusaur, but such is life. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anything that I could do about that. He played that nicely. He did have Sucker Punch. I don't know why he made that play, though. There was no necessity to make that play. Uh, I'm sure Infernape... Um, Choice Bandit does not take out Ninetales in any universe. Uh, with a... Yeah, no, it does 44 to 52. Even a Crit Mock Punch does only 78% max. So there was no reason for him to go for that there. Uh, I guess maybe he didn't want my Sharpedo getting up an extra speed boost for no reason. That kind of makes sense, but I didn't have anything to hit the shift tree with realistically, so it didn't make a difference. Uh, but he couldn't know that. I could very easily have Ice Fang, which I might sub out um, Psychic Fangs for. But look at this team and look at Psychic Fangs. Like that's just that's just perfect. Uh, actually, Sharpedo runs through him once I weaken uh, Volcanion. That's all I need to do is just weaken Volcanion. Maybe rode him a little bit as well, and then Sharpedo straight sweeps. So let's lead off here. Seeing as I have the Mew for the Keldeo, as long as it's not Specs, which if it's Specs, then I can switch into High Dragon afterwards. Um, I'm gonna lead off with Gliscor because it does the best against his team. He does choo to, choose to lead off with Nidoking. I know he'll go for Ice Beam here. You don't make any other play right here. So I'm gonna go out into Raikou <clears throat> on the Ice Beam. And uh, we're actually a Z Raikou, as you can see, with um, Ghost Team Z Shadow Ball, which is actually really nice. I'm going to double out into High Dragon here, as he is going to go for another Ice Beam, actually, uh, to cover the switch, I guess. Uh, now he kind of has to switch out, though. And his best switch is going to be Keldeo. So I'm going to go for U-Turn. He actually chooses to stay in. I wonder why. Huh. Let me go into Mew. He might be locked in to Ice Beam. He does seem to be locked into Ice Beam. I think he's Scarfed. Okay. Now he's scared out, so I'm going to get up my rocks. I'm pretty convinced this is Scarfed. Yeah. Okay. So he gets out of there. Uh, this is the Bronzong. That is indeed what it is. Uh, I'm going to go straight into Hydra here. I don't care about burning this. It doesn't really make a difference. My rocks are up now, which means I can weaken the Volcanion, and I can just put everything in range of Sharpedo now. That's going to be the uh, the end game plan here. So I'm going to go into High Dragon. He is going to Toxic me. He doesn't have a great switch into this still, except for Keldeo. So again, I'm going to predict the Keldeo coming in. And I'm going to go for the U-turn as he decides to protect. Okay, so he has protect on this thing. So he is going to stay in, obviously, because I went for U-turn. And I'm assuming he's going to Toxic again. So I'm going to go Gliscor, because Gliscor can take it. As he does go for the Toxic, fantastic. I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> Let me just go for the Swords Dance here. As uh, he is going to get up his rocks, finally. And I'm going to go for the Facade. Now, I can't do too much damage to him, but he can't do too much damage back to me either. And I'm getting a lot more recovery than his he is. And he can't really switch anything on a facade. So he's just going to keep going for Gyro Ball. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to keep going for Swords Dance right here. As uh, he just keeps going for Gyro Ball. I'm going to go for Roost on this turn just to show him that I have it. And uh, now I should be a 2 at KO on this uh, Bronzong. And I am. Fantastic. And even after another round, right? Uh, it's a roll. But he's going to run himself out of Gyro Balls at this rate. So I'm just going to go for another SD here as he is going to go for another Gyro Ball, and I'm going to go for Roost. He gets a crit on that turn, that doesn't really matter. He's just letting his Bronzong go down, which is fine with me. I'm just going to go for EQ here as he goes for Protect, not wasting his last Gyro Ball, very smart. And uh, we will go for a Facade right here. And we actually get the kill because we are at plus six. So down goes the Bronzong. Fantastic. I think the Nidoking or the Keldeo comes back in. Yep, it's going to be the Nidoking. So we know that we can switch into Mew right here. Uh, pretty easily. I know you have Ice Beam, bro, and I know you're Scarfed, so let's see what he does. He does just go for Ice Beam, that is fine, and I get a free Psy Shock off here, if I want to, uh, and I do want to, yeah, for sure. He's gonna go into Volcanion, he's gonna let this take a little bit of damage, which is fantastic. That should be Sharpedo range after rocks, so we are gonna sack off Hydreigon here, and he is going to go for a Steam Eruption, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scare him out with Raikou, and I'm going to go for the Calm Mind, because after a Calm Mind, I should be able to take any attack from this one, uh, except if it's Specs. Okay, well, there's that. Um, yeah, so I think Infernape is fine here. 
and we can just go for a close combat and should be able to take him out. There we go. There goes Volcanion. And if his Nido King comes back in, I'm clicking close combat again. Because I'm sure he's going to go for Ice Beam. Trying to catch my Gliscor. Yep, there it is. And uh, this Nido King is going to take a ton of damage from this. And uh, as soon as he knocks me out, it doesn't matter what it's with, Sharpedo's going to win. So I'm going to go for another close combat here. He might even switch out. No, he chooses to stay in. That's fine. We're going to knock that out. And since that was Scarfed, uh, the only thing that outspeeds me on his team is his Zygarde. And his Zygarde is a free switch for my uh, Gliscor. And I will keep this as Death Fodder just to, uh, to sack something to Keldeo. He does choose to go Rotom. Is this also Scarfed? Or, yes, it is. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, Rotom Wash. So, Rotom Wash. Uh, is this Specs? Uh, I doubt he'd have all choice mons. Come on. Uh, Rotom. Rotom, 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 Mo. Versus Sharpedo. If I'm mega Crunch does 88 to an offensive variant. So, that should be good. We're going to go into Mew. We're going to hope that Hydro Pump doesn't kill me. And we're going to go for a... Uh, okay, so he's also Specs on this. Okay. So now I get to go into Sharpedo. I get to click uh, Protect right here. And I know for a fact that Crunch actually knocks out Zygarde from where it's at. Uh, if I Mega. So... But if I Mega, am I slower than his Rotom? 289, isn't that what Rotom hits? It hits 298. Uh, but my Protect fails, so I'm going to go for Protect again. There we go. All right, so the E-Speed's not going to do enough damage. I know this for a fact, even from Bandit Zygarde, unless he crits me. Uh, Bandit does 61, and E-Speed crit would do 92. So that even if he crits me, he has to get a very high roll. And Crunch does knock him out. So we're going to go for Crunch right here, as he's going to go for another E-Speed. He does not get the crit. We are going to knock out the Zygarde. I'm not sure if I knock out Keldeo, actually. Uh, do I knock out Keldeo? Choice specs. Yes, I do. Psychic Fangs kills. Goodbye, Keldeo. And Rotom should drop. So we did play for the Sharpedo endgame. I think Mega Sharpedo is going to get the thumbnail, guys. It depends on how the rest of our games go. We are at 17 minutes, only two games in, but I'm going to try to make it happen. He does forfeit. That is going to be the end of the game. That is uh, GG to my opponent. And uh, let's get another one. I don't know why he said sigh. I don't know if you guys saw that, but yeah, there's no reason to sigh, bro. Um... Again, another game where Sharpedo can put in a ton of work. I just need to weaken the Scizor and the Volcanion again. So that's where rocks come in. Um, Hydreigon once again looking like a very solid lead, except against the Keldeo, which is why I'm always tempted to lead with Mew. Um, Raikou's not a bad lead, because I can always switch out on the, on the Hippo into Mew. Yeah, I'm going to lead off with Raikou. Raikou seems solid here. It checks offensively like three, four, four of his mons easily. Uh, Volcanion is going to lead. Now, I could easily switch into High Dragon here. Or I can just go for a Calm Mind. Because I don't believe Volcanion after a Calm Mind. Volcanion versus uh, Raikou. Um, at plus one, his Steam Eruption does 66% to me max. So the other one was... Oh, it's Stibe. Oh, hey, Stibe. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm recording. Oh, that's awesome. I hate French keyboards. There we go. Uh, yeah, so Stipe is actually a really good player, and I'm hoping that he joins a tournament that I'm actually setting up very soon. He's going to go into Hippo here. Uh, I expect him to expect me to HP Ice, so I'm not going to. I'm going to switch out immediately <laughs> out of my Raikou and go into Mew, and then we are going to get up our Stealth Rocks as soon as possible. And that is going to be the play. Um, and I really want to just get up rocks for Sharpedo, because Sharpedo wins uh, in the endgame again. Uh, his Sand is going to hinder his Volcanion, as well as his Keldeo and his Latias, which is nice as well. Uh, in comes Mew. He does just go for the Earthquake. That is fine with me. I am going to just get up the rocks right here. He could very well switch into his Latias, but that would be fine. He's just going to Whirlwind me out into Raikou again, uh, and this is where I get to go out into Gliscor. So I'm not going to go into Mew again. He is going to go for Stealth Rocks. Fantastic. Now, I could very well be um, Toxic, even though I'm not. So, I don't know if he would actually switch out here into something like Metagross or Scizor, but I'm just going to Quake. Uh, I think Quaking is fine. Yeah, I figured he would go into Scizor scouting for the uh, for the Toxic. Stibe is a very good player. 
Um, but this thing doesn't actually do anything to me, and I can just SD in its face. So he's going to go for the U-turn. He's going to be forced into something like Keldeo or Volcanion. I would love for Volcanion to come in here because then it takes rocks damage. But it is going to be the Keldeo, which is fine uh, to some extent. Now, does Keldeo, does a Scarf Keldeo just straight up knock out uh, Gliscor? Naturally. Scald does not. Hydro Pump does to max HP if I hit 352. I hit 354, thanks to George. He is max HP. Uh, and Hydro Pump is still a 50% chance roll. 255 Spadef, so there's less Spadef on this, actually. So, yeah, it's still about a 50-50 roll. Uh, and he still has to hit Hydro. So, I am going to... Because I don't have a good switch into this, I am just going to go for Earthquake. He's going to go for a Z-move, I'm assuming. Yeah, Hydro Vortex. Okay, so that's going to knock me out easily. But now I can go into Raikou. Uh, and now what I can do is... I could actually fire off a Never-Ending Nightmare here and really get off a lot of damage on something. Um, I could also predict the Hippo coming in. But I'm just going to go for the Never-Ending Nightmare. His Hippodon is going to come in. It's going to take a lot of damage from this. This is a very, very strong move as it is going to do 40... Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> we are going to go for the, uh, I don't want to switch into Mew. I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice predicting a Whirlwind. Let's see if we get it right. No, he goes for Slack Off. Okay. Now he should, in theory, a Whirlwind. I don't mind losing Raikou. Again, my endgame win condition, because now I know his Scizor is not offensive. Uh, it's more like a defensive set. My endgame win condition is going to be, uh, Sharpedo. One way or another, it's going to be Sharpedo. I just need to weaken his Volcanion, and I need to figure out how the heck I'm going to do that. So, his uh, Keldeo will always come in on my Hydra, no matter what. Um, or even maybe his Metagross, it depends. Um, how do I want to play this? How much does Banded Nape do to Hippowdon with Blitz? Infernape. Uh, choice Banded. Does 44 to 52, not enough. Alright, so... Here's going to be my play. We are going to go Mew. Now, the reason I'm going Mew is because I can burn anything on his team. And nothing appreciates a burn. That's one. Especially this Hippowdon. And if he whirlwinds me, he whirlwinds me into something that is immediately a threat to his Hippo or that can you turn out on it. So I'm hoping that he whirlwinds me or goes for the slack off. Either one is fine. Right here. So I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. I am very well aware that either Keldeo or Volcanion could come in here, but again, if Volcanion comes in, that's good for me. That means that I win with Sharpedo. And I'm sure that he's going to try everything in his power to not lose to Sharpedo. <laughs> so, uh, here's Sharpedo. Uh, I just want to check. Uh, here's Latias, excuse me. We do miss the Wisp, unfortunately. Um, how much does Crunch, how much does Waterfall do to Hippo? Okay, so now his Hippo's actually in range of Waterfall. Uh, it does 53% min, and he's at... 53, 54. So I'm going to go for Roost right here on his Draco. It's not going to knock me out, luckily. And I am going to get off this Roost. Fantastic. He misses out on the KO by 1%. Very unfortunate, but, you know, uh, that's the way the game plays out. I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp here. He's going to defog. That's fine. Uh, that's not fine because my rocks are gone, but I still have my rocker right here. So I am going to get back up my stealth rocks. And uh, the worst he can do is switch into Volcanion directly which still allows me to weaken it. So that is uh, the key right here. I do hit 263 speed. I am always faster than this. He might even predict my Hydra coming in, which would be awesome. Um, I don't really want to take an attack here because Mew still does a lot to his team. It burns the Metagross, it burns the Hippo, burns the Scizor, and Psyshock's the Keldeo. The only thing it doesn't really deal with is this right here and his Latias. So I am going to switch into Hydra hard as he's going to go for the steam eruption. We do see that specs, of course. He does get a burn. That doesn't really matter. Uh, and I am just going to fire off a... I'm very reluctant to go for Dark Pulse here. Uh, yeah, we now that we know his Keldeo is not specs, Mew can switch in on it afterwards. So I am just going to go for the Dark Pulse. Even if his Keldeo can come in, it doesn't matter. So let's just do that. And uh, hopefully he doubles out after on the Dark Pulse. He knows that he can't let this take damage. He can't switch in his Latios right now because I'm faster. Uh, and he won't be able to get off the Defog even if he even if he lives my Dark Pulse. So, I think this is going to be the last game. This is funny, we ran into Stibe. 
Um, yeah, so he's gonna let me Dark Pulse his Volcanion, which puts it in range of Crunch, I believe, from Mega Sharpedo. Volcanion. Uh, Volcanion. Crunch does 64%, yeah. Alright, so now all we need to do is, I think, just go straight Sharpedo, right? Metagross should die as well to Crunch, like a regular Metagross. It takes 99% min, and that's max HP. Yeah, it'll die. Okay. Uh, Keldeo dies. I'm pretty sure the Scizor die from 52. Scizor. Choice Band. Dies to water, dies to Crunch. But if he's max HP, max defense. He would have to be max HP, max defense, impish. To live, to potentially live a Crunch. So I am pretty sure that Sharpedo just wins. Is there a better way that I can play this? If I go Infernape, I allow his Latias to come in. And that can defog. Which takes away the potential rolls on both the Hippo and the Metagross. So yeah, I think Sharpedo is my play always. Alright, so no matter what, we're going to protect right here. Because I need the speed to outspeed his Latias. Always. And his Latias has already shown not to be choiced. Uh, I also believe it's low enough to the point where Crunch... Okay, Crunch decimates it. <laughs> it does 165 min. That is insane. Uh, so he can Healing Wish this up even if he wanted to. It is He's not going to have a chance to. So uh, he is going to switch directly into his Scizor to get the Leftovers recovery. That does not matter. I am going to Mega Evolve and I am going to click Crunch. It should knock out his Scizor from here, as it misses out on the KO by 3%. Wow. That is annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That is very, very annoying. So, now Mew has to do all the work. Had I just crunched there, uh, predicting the switch, he would have been dead. He would have lost. I neglected the fact that this thing had leftovers, so it lived the roll, unfortunately. Uh, the only way that it could live was if it was max HP, max defense. So that's exactly what he is, unfortunately. All right, so my controller just fell. That's great. Um, he should know that I have nothing faster than... Oh, okay, he goes Hippo. Interesting. Let's go Nape. And we are going to click U-turn. And uh, we can start this cycle. Um, I doubt he'd go Latias. He actually chooses to sack his Scizor. That's fine. If he goes Lottie, I might have to stay in. We'll see, though. Because Mew can't take the... Okay, he goes into his Keldeo playing off the speed tie. Which is smart. Because I think two Scalds knocks out Mew. Uh, Mew versus Keldeo. Keldeo. Can't believe I didn't get the roll. Um, let's say it's Choice Scarf. Skull does... Oh, no, it does 29%. So let's go for the U-turn. Does he win the speed tie? We'll see. I have no choice but to go for U-turn. I'm not going to hard switch. Like, as much work as this does in the end game, you can do just the same. All right, so he wins the speed tie as well. Awesome. And uh, now we have to wear everything down somehow. I can outspeed the Volcano, and I think Psy Shock knocks it out. Um, unless he gets the... Yeah, unless he gets rid of the rocks. I'm going to go for Psy Shock. He goes for Calm Mind. That's fine. I am going to bring this Keldeo down to Sand Range, so goodbye. And uh, now I have to hope like he misses a steam eruption or something. Uh, Metagross is going to come in. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp this. He's going to trick. Okay. Very nice. GG, stab. All right. I'm not making that the last game. That was that was horrible. Uh, and I missed my Will-O-Wisp too. Cool. All right. So um, I just want to calc that roll again <laughs> before I get another game. Uh, let's see. Sharpedo. Mega Sharpedo. Adamant, which we are. Uh, crunch to a max HP, max defense scissor. Uh, Impish does 47 to 56. So guys, rewind and find out how much he was at. And uh, that is exactly uh, the roll. So it's 46, 47 to 56. And I believe he was at... Um, how much was he at? He's at 66, he came in at 52, and he went up to 50, possibly 58. So I might have actually gotten a max roll. It depends. Depends on what his spread was. I'll ask him later, but 
Uh, we're gonna get one more, even though we've already been uh, recording for 29, uh, almost 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. But we are gonna get one more because I have not shown off uh, the team well enough, I feel. And I definitely feel like I can win, so. All right, we get Troll Blitz. Don't know who this guy is, but um, his team is looking kind of scary. Uh, Gliscor can definitely put in a lot of work, but I do need the Tentacruel gone and potentially the Mew depending on its set. So let's lead off here with uh, our biggest offensive threat, I feel, in Raikou. Yeah, let's lead off with Raikou. Uh, he chooses to lead off with Gliscor, so this is uh, worst case scenario. I could HP Ice him here. I don't think Gliscor... Does Gliscor knock me out? Hold on a second. Uh, versus Raikou. Raikou, showdown usage. Actually, it does not. So I can just go for an HP Ice here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to go into Scizor. Okay, so now he's going to U-turn out. No! Okay, so he's... That. Alright, I'm going to T-Bolt this. I don't care then. I'm weakening this now. And I'm putting this in range of Sharpedo once again, because as you guys can see, Sharpedo puts in work again so <laughs> i just need the bisharp weaken uh he goes into arrow he probably has earthquake let's switch out into hydra he could also just stone edge me we'll see as uh, he does go for the move that can miss and he gets a crit he gets rewarded for it uh that is fine because my opponent has zero draco meteor uh, draco meteor switchins and that is exactly what i'm going for he's gonna go into bisharp that is fine that is gonna do 50 percent and uh, I don't really want to switch out into anything on a knockoff. So we are going to go for another Draco and miss that one. Awesome. So he's going to get up his rocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, we're going to knock out. Uh, well, not knock out. We're going to get knocked out uh, by the knockoff. And seeing as he's rocks, uh, I can pretty much safely go in Infernape and threaten this thing. And uh, I'm just going to go for a U-turn here uh, into his Gliscor. This would have died to two Flare Blitzes, by the way, guys. Uh, but it's okay. I'm going to go into Mew. And I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks of my own because I need to put some pressure on his team. He's actually Fast Taunt, a lot faster than me for some reason. I'm going to go out into my own Gliscor as he is going to go for the knockoff. Great, awesome, lose my Toxic Orb, fantastic. Uh, we're going to go for the Swords Dance as he taunts again. Fair enough, now I'm playing on Tilt. Going to go for the Facade even though he can't, he can't touch me. He cannot touch me. He's going to go to an Arrow, okay, that's fine. Uh, Sharpedo can revenge this. His Gliscor is probably back at full. I didn't even check. Uh, I'm just going to switch out to Mew. I don't care. I'm going to switch out to Mew. Yeah, this is obnoxious. Like, that, that Gliscor was really, really annoying. Why is it so fast? Who will know? Who will ever know? Realistically. He's going to go into Bisharp on my Mew. That's fine with me. Uh, I do not have my item knocked off yet, but I am going to go for Will-O-Wisp, and I'm going to miss, of course. Uh, as is the trend. So, now I'm just going to Roost actually, as he's going to go for another knockoff, and that's doing too much, so I'm going to get up my rocks and be done with it. So, down goes my Mew because I missed a Will-O-Wisp again, and now I'm going to go into Infernape, and I am going to click uh, Flare Blitz, I think, or is just you turning still the safest play? Okay, his Bisharp's weakened, and his Mew, his Mew's still at full, but I'm pretty sure I can knock out his entire team with Sharpie, though. So I'm going to go for a U-turn. If he goes into Gliscor, I'm just going hard into Raikou and I'm weakening it. That's all I need to do. He's going to go into Tentacruel. Fantastic. I do get the U-turn off again. And we are going to go hard into Raikou. And I am going to just, just fire off a Thunderbolt. I don't even care. Like, you're catching a Thunderbolt, my friend. <laughs> you don't even know what kind of set I am yet, so... I don't think I switched up moves yet. I might have. He does go Gliscor. That's fine. Um... I mean, there's nothing he can switch in here. I'm just going to go for an HP Ice and knock this thing down super low. He's going to go for the Earthquake, but that's okay. Because now... Now we're in business, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are in business. Uh, his Tentacruel is sitting at 65. Uh, 67 after rocks. Tentacruel. Versus Infernape. Uh, choice Band. Flare Blitz does... Okay, only 32 to 38, unfortunately. But I can go into Sharpedo here. Uh, I can just go for the Waterfall, unless he's max speed for some reason. Um, do I really want to risk that? I think I just go for Waterfall. Yeah, knock this thing out, get the speed that we need, and if his Mew has something for me, it will, he will go into it now. It could very well have Vacuum Wave, it can have anything. 
In comes Tentacruel. Doesn't Tentacruel die? Sharpedo. Uh, Psychic Fangs in indeed does kill even a max defense variant. So uh, I think I'm faster than his... Oh, I'm not faster yet. Damn. Okay, well, let me go for Protect then. As he goes for a Scald, that's fine. I'm going to go for the Psychic Fangs here and knock this thing out. Beautiful. And uh, his Mew is the only thing I can potentially see living in attack. Potentially. <laughs> I, I do use that word. Uh, because a max HP Mew still takes 112. And if he's max HP, max defense, he takes 89 min. Uh, unless he's max HP, max defense, bold. In which case he takes 80 min. Uh, and then he still needs something to knock me out. But he does get knocked out. Fantastic. There we go. Alright, Scizor comes in. This is dead to a crunch. Goodbye. And, uh, yeah, the last two drop. This drops the waterfall. And so does the Bisharp. So we do pull out a win. This is a very frustrating deal dealing with that Gliss score, but we do pull out the win there. Uh, I'm sitting at 1485. I don't even know if that's on the ladder or not, but uh, you know what, guys? I'm going to treat you guys. I'm going to get one more with this team. We're going to try to go 3-2. and two. Uh, We go up against Cyan Rain, and uh, he seems to have a very similar team to the one we just faced, Tentacruel Bisharp. Uh, he's got a Gengar. Gengar is a huge, huge, massive threat to this team. Now, everybody seems to lead off with their ground type against me. So I'm going to start predicting that. Uh, and I'm going to lead off here with... Uh, actually, Bisharp's not a bad lead against me. I'm just going to lead it with uh, Hydreigon. Okay, he leads off with Klefki. Um, a Fire Blast is kind of obvious. But at the same time... I think actually just... Yeah, just Fire Blasting is fine. He's going to go into Tentacruel. That's fine. I don't have a problem with him going into Tentacruel. Because Tentacruel can't really touch Mew. Uh, outside of like maybe Acid Spray. He goes for Toxic Spikes. That's cool. Uh, he's forced out now because I can have Psy Shock, and I do have Psy Shock. So I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. He's going to switch out into a Zip Poudon. That is fine with me. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp this thing as fast as anything. And uh, another game where, once again, Sharpedo can put in work. Uh, he's forced to defog my rocks away at some point. He's going to go for his own Stealth Rocks. That is fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Psy Shock. His Hippo is now burned. He's going to go into his Bisharp. But again, this is just going to get Will-O-Wisp. I don't mind getting knocked off. This is going to get burned, and he's not Lumberry, so I'm going to be able to take the knockoff just fine. I'm going to go for a Roost. If he wants to go for a Swords Dance, that's cool. Uh, I can always bring in my Infernape on this, so this is fine. Uh, his Bisharp's now burned. His Hippo's burned. His Klefki's about to get burned. Uh, he might just go for Spikes here, which is what I'm thinking he's going to do. Um, I'm just going to go into Gliscor, actually, right here, because he can't status me other than with Toxic, and that's fine. And... Good news is that most defensive Tentacruel don't run enough speed for Gliscor, or this specific Gliscor. So I'm going to go for a Swords Dance on his Magnet Rise, and uh, now I can start smacking him with Facades, and that's really good. So let's just go for a another Swords Dance, actually, as he's going to go straight out into his Hippo to get rid of me. Uh, and Earthquake is still the stronger move, as it is Stab, and we are going to get off 60% on this Hippo as he's going to Whirlwind me out into Infernape. Probably not the best thing. Not the worst either, though, because I'm pretty sure a banded U-turn can take out a hip out on. Let's check. From 15%, I'm pretty sure. Infernape. Uh, choice banded. Whoops. Uh, let's see. U-turn does 17 to 24. So, yes, that is a KO. Goodbye. All right, I take some Rocky Helmet. No big deal. I can just go right back out into what here? Hydra. Um, I don't want to allow his Tentacruel in for free. That's the only thing. So let's go Gliscor. Let's go Gliscor. And, uh, Tentacruel still has to take Earthquakes. Like, I don't mind if that thing comes in. He goes into Latias. I can take any hit from this. Except for, like, an Ice Beam. I'm gonna go for Roost. Hoping that he Dracos. He goes for the Devastating Drake, and that is not gonna knock me out. I am gonna get off the Roost right here, and I'm gonna go for another Roost on his Draco Meteor. He actually goes for Calm Mind. Okay. All right, um, what do you have then? You're definitely going for a dragon move. Huh. Uh, let me actually just click facade as he's going to call mind again. That's fine. I'm going to get off 41% on this. And Draco sh should still take this thing out from this range as well as uh, Z Shadow Ball. Uh, even if he's at plus two. I'm just going to go for a facade again. He goes for a roost. No big deal. 
Uh, I'm just gonna keep going for Facade because it does a good amount of damage. He is gonna finally Draco Meteor me. He's gonna lose his special attack as a result. And now I'm just free to, I think, go into Hydra and just fire off a Dark Pulse. He still has the Clef Key around though, which is the issue. That is indeed an issue. Do I just go Raikou and start firing off attacks? Yeah, I think that might be my play, actually. Raikou's a good endgame, though. Raikou's a very good endgame, Mon. He can still Draco me, and it's still gonna do a lot. Now, the fact that he's Calm Mind, does that tell me that he's not max speed? How well did he take that facade, actually? Latias from Gliscor. Um... Give me Facade. Facade should be doing 35 to 41, so no, he's not He's not defensive vested, which is fine. Um, I don't want to go Raikou just yet, though, because I'm looking at how much it does to his team in the endgame. Yeah, I think my play is Hydra. I think my play is always going to be Hydra, and if he switches out Latias, I don't care. That's fine. He can get up all the spikes he wants. Um, well, not all the spikes, but... I'm gonna go for a U-turn. As I do get the Bisharp coming in. Okay. Does this mean I can just go into Sharpedo now and start firing off attacks? Because he can't Prankster T-Wave me. Which is cool. No, I'm gonna go in for an ape. Uh, as... Ooh, okay. Uh, good thing is that I actually died of poison. So now I can Mach Punch for free. And his Bisharp goes down. Beautiful. Okay. So, uh, his only switch into Fire Blast at this point, or into Hydreigon in general, is going to be Klefki. And if it's a Fire Blast and he's already in with Klefki, it's going to be Tentacruel. So, I'm going to just go Hydra. Uh, let's see what he goes into. He does go into Tentacruel. So, he is going to be able to Rapid Spin here. But I don't mind that. I'm just going to get off as much damage as possible on this, I think. And just go for a Draco Meteor. And if he wants to Rapid Spin, that's cool. Um, he does get rid of my rocks, but that doesn't matter at all. Like, Sharpedo and Raikou could both still win. I'm going to go into Mew. Right here. I'm going to take a little bit of damage from all of this. Uh, and he's going to go for the Acid Spray, which is fine. I can still Psy Shock this thing. He has to be fearful of that. And uh, I'm going to Psy Shock this thing and knock it out. Beautiful. All right. Now, his Gengar can come in and revenge me. Uh, but that also... Okay, he goes into Latias instead. Uh, I'm really tempted to just go straight into High Dragon. If I set up a Calm Mind with Raikou, do I win? I think I might. Also, if he Draco Meteors, he's forced out by Raikou. Okay, so if Raikou weakens the Klefki anyway, then Sharpedo wins. No matter what. So, yeah, I'm gonna go Hydra. Hard. I don't care if he Dracos. Let it be. He's gonna go for Roost. Awesome. Okay, and now I'm gonna predict the Clef Key coming in, and I'm gonna go for Fire Blast. As it should come in. Yep, there we go. We are gonna get off the Fire Blast, thank goodness it connects. And uh, now I'm actually gonna predict the Latias coming back in. Uh, do I need to do that? I don't think I do. He knows I'm locked in. If I switch into Raikou, he still can't Thunder Wave me, <clears throat> and I still get off necessary damage on whatever I need to. He needs to lock himself into Sludge Wave. High Dragon's not faster. I'm just thinking about the scenario where the Gengar is Scarfed, and what that means. So yeah, let me go Raikou. I'm gonna go into Raikou, and this should be a no-drawback play. Let's see what he does. He does go for Spikes, that's fine. I'm going to go for a Calm Mind as he goes for more spikes. And now I uh, I don't know if Sludge Wave is going to take me out from here, from 38. I think it does. Uh, okay, he goes Lottie, this, this is awesome. I'm going to, actually, I wanna set up my speed on this, don't I? No, no, Never Ending Nightmare is still the play, for sure. There we go. We're gonna knock out the Latias, fantastic. And in comes the Gengar, and I can go for a Shadow Ball here. Okay, so he is Scarfed. He is Scarfed. Um, does Hydreigon die to Scarfed Gengar? Gengar. 
Uh, Oris Uber. No, that's not Gengar. What? That's Genesec. Uh, Gengar, where are you? Life Orb Attacker, Sludge Wave to Hydreigon. Hydreigon, Choice Scarf takes 67 to 80 from Life Orb. It takes 52 to 61 from... Yeah, it does too much. I knew it would be Scarfed. Uh, Sharpedo, Mega Sharpedo takes, yeah, 78 to 92. That's also too much. Mew's gonna die because of all of the hazards. So I need a double protect. Essentially. That's what I need. I just need a double protect. That's the only way I win the game. I played that well for the endgame sweep with Gengar. Unless Mew can live, but no, Mew can't live. Not from that range. Hello? Uh, yeah, I need to double protect with Sharpedo, regardless. Unless he's not faster than Scarf Hydra, <laughs> in which case I can still win, but I'm going to go for the, the uh, Protect right here, as he is going to go for the Sludge Wave. Can we get the Double Protect? No, we cannot, as he does knock me out with Sludge Wave, and I think that is the game. And he does knock out a Hydra, so that is GG to my opponent. I'm not ending it off on a loss, though, guys. This is going to be a long live. It's going to be a very long live. Um, yeah, I guess Raikou does die from there, huh? Raikou. Raikou, Raikou, Raikou. Shutdown usage, Sludge Wave. Oh my god, really? Is that a roll? Okay, no, it was a roll in his favor. Okay, that's fine. Um, Very weird team, to say the least. Uh, Does Raikou have a horrible matchup? I think... I think Mew is my best lead regardless. He's going to lead off with Ditto. Uh, I think we're both going to get up rocks right here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just get up rocks. And now predicting to switch out into Volcanion, I'm going to Psy Shock. Because nobody goes Aggron on a potential um, Will-O-Wisp. He should go Volcanion. Or Haxorus if he's Lum, I guess. One or the other. I don't, I don't see him going into Crobat, I don't see him going into Aggron, and I definitely do not see him going into um, Crawdont. So, the Volcanion comes in, takes a ton of damage from Psy Shock, which is awesome. I'm just going to switch out into Hydra here, as he is going to go for a Steam Eruption. Uh, that is not Specs. Hmm, what is that? I think regardless, my play is to Dark Pulse here. So he's AV. We do get the flinch. He can switch into his ditto now. But does that matter? I don't think it does. I'm just going to Dark Pulse again. And we are going to get the roll and we're going to knock out the Volcanion. Okay. So there is still one big problem standing in the way of... Actually, there's two big problems standing in the way of Sharpedo Sweeping. And they are called Mega Aggron and Crobat. So, actually, is, can Aggron even be Mega yet? I don't think it's released. Um, I'm pretty convinced it's not released. I'm going to Dark Pulse again. It's going to do a lot to this Crawdont. As he's going to go for a knockoff. And he's actually going to knock me out. Which tells me that he's banded. So knowing that he's banded. I can go into Infernape. And I can just get off a... I could go for a Flare Blitz here. Predicting the Crobat coming in. And I'm pretty sure it would knock out Crawdont anyway. Yeah, let's go for the Blitz. He should switch this out. And conserve it for Aqua Jet later. He should keyword um yeah in comes the crowbat that is dead goodbye that is a banded flare blitz we're ending off on a win guys i said it we're gonna end off on a win don't worry i got you <laughs> don't don't worry yeah i know you guys are already panicking don't even worry about it um crowdon comes back in to aqua jet me okay so i'm going to now go into sharpedo on the aqua jet the banded Aqua Jet, and it is going to do 49%. Now, Sharpedo gains a lot of bulk from Mega Evolving. Maybe even enough to take an Aqua Jet. Let's see. It gains quite a bit of bulk. As it is enough, and we are going to knock out the Crawdont thanks to that bulk. Fantastic. Thank you, Sharpedo. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Uh, in comes the Ditto. I'm going to protect to see what it, scout uh, what, it, what it locks itself into. It doesn't really matter, but I'm still going to protect. As, uh, if he locks himself in a crunch, that's fine. It's probably his best play. 
Yeah, crunch is definitely his best play. Uh, I'm gonna go for my own crunch, as he's actually not scarfed. Huh. He's citrus. Look at that. Okay. Well, that is a very easy Infernape Mock Punch for me. Now that his Crawdon is gone, uh, now that his Crobat is gone, actually, uh, he goes for Protect, that doesn't matter, you're forced to switch, something's gonna take a Banded Mock Punch. And I know it does about 37% to Haxorus, so it should do a lot more to Aggron, because that is not a Mega Aggron, as I've already somehow figured out. Um, I don't want to ever set up with my Gliscor. He's gonna go straight into his Haxorus. He's gonna take a Mock Punch. He's gonna do 38, as you can see. He has Leftovers, what? What is this? What am I facing? Um, I think I'm pretty safe to go into Gliscor. Like, what do I lose? He goes for Dragon Dance. Okay, cool. Um, I still have Mock Punch online. As long as I get off this Earthquake, I'm good. So, yeah, let's do that. He goes for Sub. You're you're not you're not living. No, no, get out, <laughs> get out, bro. Um, and he can go into Ditto if he wants, but yeah, he goes for the Dragon Claw, that's cool. Uh, I go for the Earthquake and I actually knock him out from there, so that's awesome. And Ditto, Ditto can set up alongside me, but it doesn't have the Toxic Orb, so I'm just going to Facade. The worst it can do to me is actually Facade me, Speed Time me, but it's not going to do any damage, as mine is actually going to do some damage. Um, and I can get off a Swords Dance, and still his Facade is not doing enough. As he is going to get out for another Roost, that doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to go for another Facade right here. And this one's going to do 60%. Uh, and even if he goes for a Sword Dance, again, it doesn't matter. I can't believe he brought Citrus Ditto. Hello? <laughs> going to get off 61% uh, right there. His is going to do 12, as you guys can see, it does nothing. And uh, this is going to be a pretty easy game to finish off right here. And uh, finally, 51 minutes in. <laughs> I probably should have made this shorter. I have stuff to do. <laughs> um... I'm gonna Earthquake here. It doesn't matter if he keeps pivoting around. It, it, like, again, his Ditto can't do anything to me. Uh, as the Aggron is dead, and the Ditto comes in, sorry, uh, and loses immediately. So, Facade, he can Roost if he wants to. I'm still doing 60%, he's not getting any recovery. And that is a dead Ditto, and that is GG. So, yeah, the, uh, the episode didn't go as well as I would like. <laughs> uh, I don't like going three and three, but I needed to show off the team and what it can actually do. Like, some of those losses were really unfortunate. Uh, Stibe switch in, switched into Scizor knowing that I wouldn't just straight up attack. Uh, whereas, if I actually did just straight up attack, then he lost. So, uh, it was a good play, I have to say. And again, I have to ask him what his Scizor said it was. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to go check out George in the description. Uh, he's a great GBA coach. He's a great content creator. Uh, definitely go and check him out. Really fun guy. Uh, to hang out with. He's, uh, he's a very smart guy. And uh, he built these teams, and you guys are going to get more of them throughout the week, hopefully, uh, if I'm able to record in time. Uh, but for now, this one was really good, so definitely go check him out in the description. And uh, if you guys want to use the team, just uh, scroll through the videos, find out what the sets are. The pacemen won't be there in the description this time. But uh, yeah, guys, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao!